Example 6 from this topic of dice. Which of the following cubes can be created by folding the given figure? So there is a question figure and there are answer figures. We have to find out that when this question figure is folded in the form of a box or in the form of a cube, which of these would be obtained. Alright. Now very simple, right? Now that we have already solved a uh, number of questions on dice, it should be very easy for you to understand. See the only point here is, in such type of cases, when an open figure is given to you, you need to understand what are the opposite faces and which is very easy to identify. Remember, alternate faces are all opposite faces. Whatever be the form, there are different forms possible here. In the given form, always, whatever are on the extended sides, on the left and the right, right? There is something at the center, then something on the left and something on the right. So those open ones are opposite. A is opposite to D. Wherever their position is, they are always opposite. And within this straight line which have got four uh, letters here, alternate ones are opposite. For example, I will say A is opposite to D here because these are the extensions, right? Wherever the extensions are, they are always opposite, right? And within F, E, B, D, F and B are opposite, E and C are opposite. Alternate ones are opposite. So F is opposite to B, F is opposite to B, and E is opposite to C. E is opposite to C. And to answer such questions, the best way is to go by elimination, right? We know that A and B are opposite because these are extensions, extensions are always opposite. Within the straight line, alternate ones are opposite. So F is opposite to B, E is opposite to C. Now just try to check this in the given figures. Remember, opposite faces can never be adjacent or vice versa. Adjacent faces can never be opposite. So A opposite to D, F opposite to B, E opposite to C. Check. Now for example, if you look at this one, uh, you know that F and B are opposite. F and B are opposite, but here in the first figure, you know F and B are adjacent. So it is wrong. Second figure, uh, F, E, D. So the point here is, Whatever we are seeing in the figures are all adjacent faces. So their opposites should not be given. Now if you look at F, what is opposite to F? B. Yes, B is not given. If you look at E, what is opposite to E? C. Yes, C is not given. And if you look at D, what is opposite to D? A. A is not given. Which means yes, they are all adjacent. Which is a possible answer. Because their opposite faces are not given. Here again, that way if you approach in this one, first option, what do you see? F. What is opposite to F? B. But B is given here. So rule out. Are you able to follow? So second is the correct answer. Likewise, if you check 3 and 4, what happens? E. What should be opposite to E? C. But C is given here. C should not be given. Opposite face should not be given because these are all adjacent faces. E and C are opposite. Here you see E and C are given as adjacent. And this is ruled out. Fourth option. What should be opposite to D? A should be opposite to D. But A is given here. And this is also ruled out because these are adjacent faces. So option 2, which is the given answer figure, has to be the right answer. Right? Now this again is not correct. So we just need to check which of these options are wrong, right? We are trying to eliminate the wrong answers here. How do we eliminate that? Based on the opposite faces. Now before we close this topic, let me give you the different forms here. Like I said, there can be different forms in which the open figure is given. In all the forms, it is very easy to identify what are the opposite faces. So that is one of them. Let me show you the other forms here. For example, 1, 2, 3, 4, right? Let's say uh, F, E, B, uh, B and C. A may be given here and D is given here. Even in this, this is one way of giving the uh, question figure. The other way is this. In this way, in this case also, extensions A and B are opposite. F and B are opposite. E and C are opposite. The other way of giving the figure is as follows. Right, this is let's say F, E, B and C. Here we have got A and this is D. Same thing. What are the extensions? A and D. A and D are opposite. E is opposite to C. E is opposite to C. F is opposite to D. So different ways of drawing it, right? The other way to do it is, uh, you know, it may be given in this way. Let me just draw it here. Uh, this is over. What is left? I think this one. So A, F, E, B, C, and here we have B. Even in this case, what do you see? A and D are extensions, right? So A and D are opposite. A and D are opposite. F and B are opposite. E and C are opposite. So different forms of giving the figure, right? Just remember, extensions are opposite. Within the straight line, alternate ones are opposite here. Now, the only different one, when compared to all these four forms, there is one more form of giving the open figure there, open dice, which is slightly different. And even that's very easy to identify. So let me show that as well. It is in this form.
So let's say it is like A or let me put it the same way uh, A D uh, F B E C. So that the same answer holds true, right? In this case, what do you see? Now there is no extension here. Are able to call? There is no extension. That is obvious that D and E will be adjusted because D and E are connected to the same, right? Their edge is common. For opposite faces, edges are not common, right? That's the logic. So D and E cannot be opposite. Are able to follow? That way you cannot proceed. So how do we identify? See, within this straight line, alternate are A and D. So A and D are opposite. Always in straight line, alternate ones are opposite. Here in this straight line, alternate are E and C. So E and C are opposite. What is left out? F and B. The center one of the first line, center one of the second line. F and B are also opposite. That's it. So this is only different when compared to the first four. But then concept is very simple. Whatever is in the straight line, alternate ones have to be taken as opposite. So here A is opposite to D, D is opposite to uh, C, and F will be uh, opposite to D. So if you close it, you will get the figure the way you want. So whichever form it is, when you close, you will find that these are opposite faces. And the question can be asked in different ways now. For example, here, open figure is given, we are supposed to find out the closed one. Sometimes the closed figure may be given, where three faces are shown, and then four open figures are given. You have to find out whether, when you open it, which of the following is possible. What do you do? The same thing. Whatever is seen in this closed figure, you know that these are adjacent. So you have to just check from the four figures that, that they should always be adjacent. You will find that somewhere or other they are opposite. For example, let's say this closed figure is given as the question figure, and this is one of the answer figures. Here I know that f is opposite adjacent to b, f is adjacent to e. But in this case I find that f is uh, adjacent to uh, opposite to b. f is opposite to b. Here f is adjacent to b. So in this question figure, according to the question figure, f should be adjacent. According to the answer figure, f is adjacent, uh, opposite to b. Hence that is wrong. Go for the second figure and check. So concept is same. It's all about checking what are opposites and what are adjacents, right? And different forms like I've shown you, just follow them. You'll be very uh, comfortable in answering such questions. So that's all from this topic of dice. See you in the next session. Thank you.